So I'm uh, with Tommy Kangas, who's the Sales and Marketing Director, Arctic uh, Biomaterials, Finnish company. Tommy, how's, the, how's it been going here? Uh, yeah, good afternoon. Um, thanks for the question. It's been a very interesting seminar, as always. It's a place where the whole industry, the bioplastics or the bioeconomy industry, gathers uh, once a year. Um, we've had some great presentations and then of course as an exhibitor here we meet our customers and suppliers and the, and the whole uh, value chain. So very interesting for us. Let's have a little background about Arctic uh, Biomaterials. When, how long have you been going? So Arctic Biomaterials was founded in 2010 uh -huh. and we were actually founded as a medical company and only in 2016 we moved into the technical side. So the technical side, as we speak about today, is quite new for us. Um, just to give a bit of background, what we do on the medical side is we actually go inside the body. So we're making bioresorbable materials that are reinforced with a special glass fiber that we have. Uh, and glass fiber, I think, is your core, your core product, is that right? That's the core technology we have. So now we've taken the same kind of glass fiber, and what we do is we combine it with technical biopolymers. And the whole idea is to expand the possibilities to use bioplastics in technical applications requiring higher temperature, impact, and so on. And this glass fiber makes that possible, but still not giving any kind of a, a downfall for the end of life. So it's still compostable, it's biodegradable, and that's the speciality of the ABM glass fiber. So what sort of new applications are you looking at in this extension um, out of the medical into the broader market? So, uh, of course, if we look at the applications where you use plastics or technical plastics, the, the world is your oyster, so there's a humongous amount of applications. Where we've seen the best value proposition for our materials is a product that requires strength, uh, but is still only the lifetime limited, and, and even something that might be uncontrollably uh, manage the waste. So something that ends up in nature, ends up somewhere. That's the kind of things where we see maybe the best value proposition for our fiber materials. So compostable and I'm thinking packaging? It's, it's mainly packaging, yeah. Packaging, not as in food packaging, but more housings and these kind of um, products yeah. where, we're, where we're involved with, yeah. Okay. Um, you also develop composite solutions as well? Correct. So we're originally, when we when we thought about it, um, we have a LFT line, which means long fiber protrusion. Right. So we can make the composite materials. It's only thermoplastic composites that we work with, and it's giving an alternative, let's say, a sustainable alternative to the current uh, composites that are available in the market. I, I'm not a very technical person, but I'm just thinking about waste uh, recovery uh, streams. So I I can see that glass fiber goes through in a very straightforward fashion. With composites, does that raise issues in terms of, 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 of mixed materials and, and waste recovery? It does. I mean, when we talk about waste management and waste streams, um, from the compounding side, it's easier when you have a monomaterial that you mm. can recycle. Mm. And we always talk about biomaterials not only being compostable, but also being recyclable so that you can use both, both ways. Then it really depends on which kind of polymers uh, you're using. If we look at the glass fiber itself, the end of life, the glass fiber is quite easy to handle because it basically um, degrades in any kind of environment, can be soil, can be compost, can be marine. So the glass fiber is not really the issue, it's more the polymer mixes that we play with them. Very good. Um, can you give us some examples of, of, of composite applications? Well, we have today, um, we have a lot of projects with some big brands and we're not allowed to speak about them until they're launched. I think this is a typical answer. So, like I said, only from 2016, we've been on the market with the technical plastics. Mm -hmm. And what we've seen on the bioplastic side, biocomposites, the projects are long. The customers are looking for really detailed background and testing info to be sure that they can go on the market with these kind of products. So I would maybe at this stage, um, I'll leave it for the next interview to, to introduce some brands who are working with us. I think that's fair enough. I mean, glass fibers, your core uh, technology, um, is that more than 50% of your output? How do, you, how do you see the company developing along those parallel routes? So we have um, increased our capacity for glass fiber now. Um, we started our own factory about one year ago. Uh -huh. So in the future, we see what we want to do is more and more into the glass fiber. 
But meanwhile, while the capacity has been limited, we've done a lot of compounding. So if we look at the, the, the volumes we have today, the majority is compounds, not without glass fiber, but in the future, it's definitely to change into the glass fiber. That's our core technology, and that's the best value proposition we can bring. And of course, the glass fiber itself is coming out of the body and into external applications in the packaging space too, I imagine. Yes, correct, correct. So, I mean, the medical business is still a big part of our business and will be so. But the technical side, it's a, it's a totally different kind of market, different volumes, different prices. So the technical side of the glass fiber, that's something that we expect really high volumes in the future. Let's have a look at this little giveaway of yours, this bottle opener. This looks very good. Now, this is, this is made from glass fiber, is that correct? So this is one of the examples we have. It's uh, not actually a product. It's a, it's a mold that we own. And uh, this is a PLA-based material uh -huh. where we put 30% of our glass fiber inside. What it means is we've increased the temperature resistance to 155 HDT. And modulus is about 14,000, so it's a really strong product. I, m most of the people have tried to break it, and they cannot. And the, ho the whole idea here is just to show that, okay, it can be done. Bioplastics can be used in technical applications. So that's the, that's the, the, the message behind this giveaway.